Today I'm reading all aboard fire trucks. Clang, clang, clang. Here comes the fire trucks to put out the fire. There are only two groups of fire trucks, pumpers and ladders. But in each group there are many different kinds of trucks and each truck has its own very special job to do. The firefighters on these trucks must spray water on the fire as quickly as possible. They often hose off nearby buildings as well to keep the flames from spreading. The pumper carries its own tank of water and many hoses and nozzles to draw even more water from hydrants. But the most important piece of equipment on the truck is a pump. The pump boosts the pressure up the water so it comes out of the hose in a strong and steady stream. Mini Pumper a small pumper is called a mini pumper. Although it can't carry as much water as a large pumper can, this little vehicle does a very big job in crowded cities. The mini pumper speeds down narrow city streets way ahead of all the other trucks. By the time it has used up its own water, the other trucks will have arrived at the fire. Hose Wagon The hose wagon is seen only on the biggest fires, where extra hoses may be needed. This truck carries many hoses and nozzles as well as fire extinguishers, first aid equipment, and its own supply of water in a booster tank. Fireboat. The fireboat is one pumper that doesn't carry a drop of water on board. It doesn't have to. It can draw all it needs directly from the lake, river, or ocean it patrols. Fireboats are used to fight fires on piers, in waterfront buildings, and on other ships. Foam unit. Oil and chemical fires cannot be put out with water. The foam unit fights these fires with a special liquid that comes out looking like soap suds. One generator on a small truck can make enough foam to fill a gymnasium. Although foam cannot be sprayed high into the air like water, it is very useful for putting out basement or ground level fires. Foam unit. This foam truck is specifically designed for fires in tall oil tanks. It has a long boom with a nozzle at the top. When firefighters raise the boom, the foam can be poured over the tank. Crash Rescue Vehicle Because airport fires most often involve explosive chemicals and fuels, the Crash Rescue Vehicle, or CRV, also pumps a thick foam instead of plain water. The foam is sprayed out of two big guns on the roof of the truck. The Crash Rescue Vehicle coming out of the airplane hangar is less than 6 feet tall. It was made to fit into areas with little headroom and a clear low hangar entrances. Like most CRVs, it is painted bright yellow so it can be seen clearly from the air. The Brush Truck The brush truck is used to put out small fire fires in the fields and woods that are called brush fires. This is why it must be tough enough to travel over the most rocky, rugged ground. Because there are no fire hydrants in the country, the brush truck carries a big water supply and a pump, as well as many hoses, shovels, and rakes. Bulldozer Pumper for large forest fires, the bulldozer pumper carries its own bulldozer along with the usual pump, hose, and water tanks. The bulldozer is used to make a clear path around the burning area to keep the fire from spreading. The path is also called a fire break. Unlike pumpers, ladders don't carry any water. They carry hooks and other cutting tools to tear down the walls and floors so firefighters can reach people trapped inside a burning building. They also carry ladders to help people escape. That's why these trucks are sometimes called hook and ladders. Rear Mount Aerial Ladder The Rear Mount Aerial Ladder has a very long ladder that can be raised more than 100 feet as high as a 10-story building. The ladder is attached to a monitorized turntable on the truck. By simply pushing a button, the firefighter can make the ladder move in any direction. The Tower Ladder The Tower Ladder has a 150 foot boom that can be mechanically raised and lowered. At the top of the boom is a platform or a bucket where the firefighter stands. A built-in hose runs all the way up to the platform so the firefighter can spray water directly onto the fire. There's enough room in the bucket for several fire victims to be brought safely down to the ground. Tiller Rig the tiller rig is made in two separate pieces so it can turn sharp street corners. The two pieces of the truck are joined together like a tractor trailer and each part has its own driver. The driver of the front part is called the chauffeur. The one who steers the back part is called the tillerman. The two drivers use a bell 
buzzer, or two-way radio to communicate with each other. Auxiliary vehicles. Auxiliary means giving help. And that's exactly what the fire department's auxiliary cars and trucks do. They give all the help they can to the engines and ladders that put out the fires. The sunniest days can seem pitch black in the midst of a roaring fire, but the searchlight trucks helps the firefighters find their way through the thickest, darkest smoke. Even at night, firefighters can see exactly what they're doing when all the special searchlights on the truck are turned off. Ambulance. The ambulance is like a mini medical center on wheels. This vehicle brings cots, stretchers, blankets, oxygen tanks, first aid kits, and trained attendants to the scene of a fire. Fire victims can be treated inside or if necessary, they can be rushed to the nearest hospital. Air utility wagon. Firefighters often wear face masks that are co connected to oxygen tanks to help them breathe in very smoky places. If a fire rages too long, the oxygen tanks will eventually become empty. The air utility wagon acts as a refill station, bringing fresh tanks of air to the firefighters at major fires. Big city firefighters often need big help, and that's just what they get from these two small trucks. Inside the mobile headquarters unit are floor plans for all the big buildings in the area. Every door, window, and fire exit is clearly marked on the plans so firefighters will know the best way to attack the burning building. The high-rise unit is filled with special equipment for fighting fires and city skyscrapers. There is a concrete core cutter for breaking through floors, walls, and ceilings, and a lot of extra ropes, axes, and ladders. Rescue Van The fire department's rescue van on hand for all kinds of emergencies not only fires. It is equipped with life-saving tools such as inflatable rafts and scuba gear for underwater rescues, hydraulic jacks to lift the heaviest objects and the jaws of life. This powerful tool can slice through the toughest steel and even pry open crushed automobiles to free people trapped inside. The rescue van also carries tow chains, ropes, saws, axes, oxygen tanks, and air masks. Fire Chief's Car with the red lights flashing and sirens blaring, the fire chief's car races to the biggest fires. The chief has a two-way radio and a car telephone so he can talk to the firefighters at the scene of the fire while he's still on the road. As soon as the fire is under control, he can give the good news to the people back at the fire station. The end.